The purpose of this video is to help you convert displayed formulae into structural formulae. Hopefully by the end of this video you will understand and know how to convert simple molecules into their structural formulae, know how to write the different functional groups in structural formulae, and be able to complete the tasks successfully on pages 16 and 17. Let's start with alkanes. The first thing we do when we have a displayed formula is to convert it, is to uh, split up the long chain into individual carbon units, like so. Then we can just write down the formula of each carbon unit. So on carbon number one, we have got CH3. On the carbon next to it, we have a CH2. On the middle carbon, we have another CH2. Carbon after that is another CH2. And then finally, we are left with a CH3. And that is how pentanes displayed formula can be converted into a structural formula. Why don't you pause the video now and try and write the structural formula for say propane or uh, butane. When we have a side chain on our alkyl chain or a branch, okay, we have to still represent that side chain. So we'll do the same as what we did previously. We split the longest carbon chain into the individual carbon units. And then we write down the formula of each individual unit. So again, we'll start off with the CH3. Then on carbon number two, we've got a CH, but attached to the carbon is also this methyl group, this CH3. Because there is more than one atom in that methyl group, we have to put the methyl group within brackets. And then we can continue the chain as normal. So the carbon number three and carbon number four are both CH2s. And finally, carbon number three is a CH3. And that is how the formula of a two methyl pentane can be written in a structural way. Alkenes. Okay, again, very similar to alkanes. We just split the molecule up into the individual carbon units and then write down the formula of each unit. So carbon number one of the alkene is a CH2 followed by a CH followed by another CH2 and finally a CH3. And that is the formula of Bute1E. Perhaps you should pause and try and write the formula of Bute2E. Halo alkanes. Okay. Do we apply the same rules as previously. Split the longest carbon chain into the individual carbon units. Write down the formula of each unit. So the first three carbons are CH3, CH2, CH2. Now we come to the carbon with the functional group on it. So that's a CH. And we've also got a chlorine in there. Uh, because there is only one atom in our functional group, we do not have to write, uh, we do not have to put that group within brackets. Also note that when we write our functional group, that the hydrogen atom attached to the carbon 
comes first. And then we finish off our chain with a CH3. And that is the formula of 2 chloro pentane. Alcohols, writing the structural formula of alcohols, this is very, very important. The examiner usually will ask a question on your uh, exam paper about the oxidation of alcohols. And very often there is a, a question where you have to write an equation showing the oxidation of the alcohols. And to gain full marks for such a question, you have to use structural formulae. Okay. And so, we take the whole process as before. Split the longest carbon chain into our individual units. And then, write our units out. Sorry. CH3. Now the second carbon has got a CH on it, but it's now got an OH because the alcohol group, which we write as an OH, has got more than one atom in it. We put it in brackets to show that it is not part of the carbon chain. And then we continue the formula as before, writing our CH2 and CH3. And that is the way to write in term 2 of. If we were writing the formula for butan 1 on and the OH was at the end of the chain, we would not need to put the brackets in. Aldehydes, uh, what you will see is that primary alcohols will get converted to aldehydes. So again, writing the structural formula for an aldehyde is very, very important. Uh, so here we've got ethanol. So we'll split ethanol up into the two carbon units. We'll write down the formulae of each. <clears throat> and the important aspect is that the aldehyde is written as a CHO, not COH because that denotes an alcohol. So this will take a bit of practice. We'll get used to writing aldehydes as a CHL. Ketones. Again, we apply the same rules and the important aspect is that the ketones are written as a CO. The chain is a CH3, CO, CH2, CH3. Sometimes you will see the formula for the carbonyl, for the ketone CO, uh, written in brackets. Uh, that's okay, but they are not necessary. Carboxylic acids. Again, very important for oxidation equations of alcohols. Uh, let's put up the molecule into our individual carbon units. And so our formula for this propanoic acid becomes CH3, CH2. And our final carbon unit has one carbon, two oxygens, and a hydrogen. The formula could be written also as CH3, CH2, CO2, H. It does not matter which way you write it. Um, just choose a way and stick to that route. 
finally, writing the formulae for esters. These are very similar to the uh, carboxylic acids. And so the formula for this compound is a CH3 COO, which is this middle carbon here. And then it's this, this carbon only has three hydrogens on it. And as with the uh, carboxylic acid, you could write this as uh, CH three CO two CH three, and that is the end of this little video clip. Please go back and watch it again, and complete the tasks in the booklet on pages 16 and 17 and perhaps go back to early structures that we have drawn named in the booklet and try and convert them into structural formula too.